Okay, we're going to continue with the same idea. So the radical is isolated here, so I can square both sides. Um, on the right hand side, the radical just goes away. But on the left hand side, you have a binomial squared, which actually means you have that binomial times itself. So I'll actually have to foil this part out before it can continue. And then once that left hand side is simplified, um, I notice that there's a square here, so I will have to move all my terms over to one side. So this will become x squared minus 8x plus 15, and I can factor that. So I get x equal to 3 and x equal to 5, and I do have to check both of those answers. So make sure you write the whole equation just plugging in 3. Every now let's try the next problem. So the square root is isolated, so I can square both sides, which means I'll have x minus 5 times itself. And over here the radical just cancels. I have the radicand, what was inside, by itself. And so then I have a square. I'm going to move these two terms over there with the square. So then here I'm going to get x minus 8, x plus 3. So I get 8 and I get negative 3. And then let's check each one. So 8 minus 5, negative 5 times 8 plus 49. And then negative 3 minus 5 plus 49. So, oops, I forgot the equal sign there. So we get 3 equals negative 40 plus 49 and 3 equals 3. So 8 works. When I plugged in 8, it checks out. Now let's check this other side. But here I get the square root of 64, which is just 8, and 8 is not equal to negative 8. So this response does not work. So I only get one answer for this problem, and that was 8. Plugging in 8, check that. Okay, so keep going with the same idea. Square roots are already isolated, so square both sides. What is 2x times 2x? That is 4x squared. And the house pops off over here. And you have squares. There's more squares on this side than there are on that side, so I'm going to move this term over to the other side. Plus all the other terms are on that side as well. So I just end up with 1x squared and these terms. So if I factor this, I get plus 5 and minus 3. So x equals negative 5 and x equals 3. And again, we have to check both answers. So here I get negative 10. Oh no, this would be positive.
but this would be positive 10, which means the negative 5 does not work. Let's plug in the 3 now. Nine times five is 45, plus six minus 15 is 36, and that's a positive six, and these do equivalent. So there's only one answer, and that answer is three here. And we'll finish with this example, and then we'll cut into another, um, the last video, okay? So here again, the square root is already isolated, so we're going to square both sides. We're going to minus this term over. So 2v squared minus 1v squared still leaves me with 1v squared. So I get 3 and I get positive 1. And if I check both of those, that's 9, 18, 12, 3, nine. So three checks out. Now let's plug in one. And one checks out. So this works as well. So for this one, I have two answers, three and one, or one and three. It doesn't matter what order you have those um, results. Okay, we're going to stop this video here and we'll continue with another one.